This video chart presentation of Victory Resources brought to you by BayStreet.ca. Victory trades on Toronto Venture Exchange on the ticker VR. I want to scale this out. You can see it's a three year weekly chart. While the chart does look good from a one year perspective, coming right in through here, just catching this part of it, I think it's more pertinent to take a look at this chart going all the way back to 2009 and seeing the long term uptrend that's been established. The chart came from around a nickel, made a move, broke out on a high volume day, established new support level around 20 cents. Broke out again, made a strong move up near 50 cents, came back, consolidated right above that old resistance level, and is now making a move once again, potentially going to try and test these old highs right here around 58 cents. Because this chart is so wide, it's a little bit more difficult to see, but if this was crunched together a little bit more, this could be considered a long-term cup and handle pattern with this portion, the consolidation and holding a support as the cup, and this portion of it being considered the handle. And now what I'd be watching for closely is the breakout through this top part, through this resistance area right around 48 cents to blow through 50. We'll take a quick look at a few indicators. This is the RSI which measures momentum in the chart. Importantly what I look for in the RSI is holding above that 50 mark. It's a much more bullish sign when the RSI is trending over top of 50. You can see right through this whole area, the better part of 2011, trending right around 50 is slightly below it. Price per share is just kind of trickling sideways. I look for that movement above 50 and then the strength to hold over top of it to show continued upward pressure and upward momentum. Similarly with the MACD, I want to see it holding over top of the zero line. That's why technical traders often reference the zero line as the money line, because it's a much more bullish indication when the indicator is trending over top of them. The volume bars tell you it's a somewhat thinly traded stock, not very many days popping through a million shares. The share structure is pretty tight on it, but what's important to note about it is when you're looking for a breakout of a significant pattern like a cup and handle pattern, always want to see a surge in volume. So if this is going to break out and try and take out this 50 cents and hold above it, that's one of the days that I want to see more than a million shares get traded. To identify a few different support and resistance levels, I will leave the trend line on there, but I would pay particularly close attention to 40 cents as a good support level. There is more further down here around 35 cents, 34 cents, where it pushed through back here at the end of 2011. But now that it's up above 40, it's a much stronger level and it's holding over top of the 50 day moving average, this red line, and that becomes key to a bullish chart as well. This blue line down here, the 200 day, that will continually curl upward, adding strength. The most bullish of all charts, the 50 and 200 days are trending upward, and the price per share is trending over top of both those moving averages. So for me, it's a key component for it to hold over that 40 cent mark at this point, maintain the handle portion of the pattern. From a resistance standpoint, I'd be looking for a break and hold right there around 49 cents. I want to see the price per share close above that, on good volume to show that there's a lot of strength. A day like this with a long upper shadow doesn't do a lot for me even though it did make a new high. I want to see the closing price near the high of the day and then typically what I look for is the candle that follows that breakout day is another strong day as technical traders recognize the breakout. Of course there will be a little resistance at that old high right through there but I actually anticipate this 50 cent mark to be a stronger area of resistance. All in all the victory resources chart has a very sound technical look to it continuously making higher lows, solid support levels established each time on a move up, and now I'll have it on my watch list to try and take this top out and form some new highs. Those are the type of things that I'll be looking for in the victory resources chart, but as always, this is merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the BayStreet.ca website to view the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions upon any material upon the website and or video chart. No person employed by BayStreet.ca is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.